Who's heard of Bradford pear? Uh huh. Okay, that is a that is a specific variety of calorie pear. Just like the thornless honey locust is a variety of honey locust. Okay, so that that is a calorie pear. And these two here are probably Bradford pears. And this is going to be pretty easy for you, I think. Right now, it's the only one you've got. Unless you can tell me another one. I'm kind of thinking there isn't one at this point. A heart-shaped leaf. Got a shiny heart-shaped leaf. The buds. Use the buds. Huge, giant, fuzzy, almost wool blanket-like covering. I mean, it, this is the fuzziest thing that we've seen all day. So let's pass that around. So big, tan, fuzzy, tear-shaped buds. Heart-shaped leaf. That's really good. Pears. Oh, I dropped them. Here, here's a half a one. There's you're, like, a you're like, are you kidding me? That's the pear. <laughs> That's full size. It, it, if you were to eat it, it would be very sour, but you would taste the little sclerid, sandy, gritty. You know, pears have that sweet, sandy grit, right? Kind of cool. You'd have that taste, but they'd be real sour. And birds love to eat them, and squirrels love to eat them. And squirrels right now are breaking them in half and scooping out the seeds and leaving these half pieces with the seeds missing. And they're eating, the, they're gorging on the little seed. They're not even eating the other part, which they could. And then birds eat that later in the winter and they poop the seed out. And this has become probably the biggest right now invasive problem going. It's kind of new. Not new, but it's getting a lot of attention right now. Like farmers are finding it like, man, I just didn't go out there for two years and now there's all these trees. What are they? It's this. The calorie pear in Bradford is like bad for it, but they regular ones are. They have these very narrow branch angles and crotches here. And as this grows, all that's in here is bark on bark as that closes up. Like you see this kind of line? That's all trapped bark. That's called a fluted bark. What well, do you think that's a very good connection? You may as well have a sheet of metal between there. Bark, they don't, the bark doesn't knit together. So this could very easily go, and this could crack out. Like, I would never park here, ever. <laughs> okay, so on this one, a heart-shaped leaf, that really unique fuzzy bud. Uh, they will have very narrow branch angles out in the woods. Uh, um, they, you might say, well, why'd they ever plant them? Well, they get covered up in beautiful white blooms, and they do kind of smell bad. And then, but then in the fall, they turn a beautiful color of red and orange flames, and that looks great. Um, so that's why. But then they don't wait long enough to see what happens. They just release it and go, oh, beautiful, and somebody's <laughs> making money. And then they come to find out and start stomp. Many, many cities, Blacksburg had their whole main streets lined with them. And then, all, then they, so they paid for them, planted them, <laughs> and then they paid to remove them all. And city after city has done that in the eastern U.S.